everybody, this is Liz Hartley. Welcome to my very first video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I painted this Alice in Wonderland themed handbag. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. Now let's get right into it. On the back of this bag, I've painted a pink and purple color scheme font of Alice in Wonderland. And on the front, I've painted a landscape where Alice and her mad friends are frolicking around in a field of daisies with a lake and a spring and rose bushes all around. It is just beautiful. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna grab my old paint jeans and we're gonna turn it into a new jean bag today. I've taken two identical squares of denim, which I'll be placing on top of this piece of parchment paper so that when we paint on top of it, it doesn't automatically soak through to our table. Here's an old ratty paintbrush that I'll be using today, as well as some white acrylic paint. When we paint on top of the jeans, covering it completely, it'll act as a barrier and a primer for our color so that they come out strong, bold, and they don't soak through the denim. I've got my pencil and I am ready to go, ready to start drawing. The first thing I do is I look at my collage and there is a tree that is coming into view right in the corner. All the bushes, all the rocks are happening right now. The nature scene is becoming one with the bag. Become one. Become one. Be the bag. Alice is coming into view now. We're drawing her. There's the Mad Hatter there in the corner. Look at his nose. I'm not joking, that's what the nose actually looks like in the movie. Go check it. Here's a picture if you have forgotten, but I am not crazy. That's what his nose looks like. Please don't judge me. You being crazy and talking about his nose are two different topics. Uh, that's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> is on top of the tree. I wanted, of course, his famous scene is, is being on top of the tree, right? So I wanted him on top of the tree. Was that karate chopping? I think you karate chopped <laughs> some scene on there. I know we've already painted the bag white, but I want every part that's, you know, pure white in the image to be very, very, very solid. So I'm going back over a couple of times with the white here to make it just that pure, crisp, clean white. Painting is like onions, it has layers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've got this tree. I've chosen a very dark brown for the tree because I want to go from back to front. And the darkest part is gonna be in the back because of how the bark will look. It will outline everything and make it look just crisp and nice. This is the blue daisy field that you see in the beginning of the movie. Uh, you, can, you can see it, I'll keep my inspirational collage in the background here so you guys can see it. But this is going to be the daisy field that she's standing in next to a stream of water. With all the characters around her, it's gonna be very, very beautiful, very quaint. And I would, I would say by the end of this, it looks like a summer's day. It's one of my favorite parts of, uh, of this scene. The flowers. The flowers. The flowers are probably the most complicated, I would say, just because, you know, they don't seem complicated when they're being painted. But while I'm painting the daisies, I'm thinking everyone is going to be able to see me mess up in this. It's going to be awful, but it ended up being pretty good. I liked it. Well, it's also the joy of acrylic, right? It dries fast. If you mess up, you just keep painting until you like it. Right, you just keep painting until the pain goes away, right? Right. Exactly. This piece has so much to see. It's just unbelievable. Every time you look at it, you see something different when it's done. Well, I appreciate that. That, you know, that really touches my sweet little black heart. I just think it's gorgeous. 
I love it. Oh, you know what? I love this lime green color I put at the bottom of it. It really, it's really gonna make her pop. Yeah, her blue dress is gonna be amazing on top of that. And it reminds me of Billie Eilish, I must say, which just, oh. it just makes everything better. I love it so Shout much. out to Billie. Shout out to Billie Eilish. If you're watching this, Billie, I love you. Please send me tickets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what I've done at the top here is just create, you know, a cloud scene. I should have done that before I painted the trees, but I am a loser and I forgot. So... <laughs> what? <laughs> so, You're supposed to pretend like you meant to do it that way. I mean, I totally meant to do it that way. I, I, it all works out. It works out in the end. Honestly, make your own rules. The one part that I absolutely love about this painting is the tree. Besides a couple of really small details that I've put into this piece, the tree I put the most effort in, the most care and the most passion in, and probably the most time, honestly. All the different strokes, the hatching I've done, it really gives it the texture that it needs to become a beautiful tree. So how many hours out of the 4,822.4 that you spent making this painting was just the tree? Probably three. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this fire orange. Oh wow. Uh, you know what? It looks even brighter in the screen, but I swear to you that orange. Oh now, okay, now it looks kind of calmed down. It, but the one I first put that down, oh my god, that orange was whoo! Mm. It was showing, it was there. This tree is on fire. <laughs> Shout out to Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. Is that Alicia? Adele? No. It's Alicia Keys? Yes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Shout out to Alicia Keys. Alicia if you're listening, let's hang. We've got all the <laughs> let's hang. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to music all throughout the end of this. I was listening to the same songs just over and over and over again. What song is my favorite song right now? Uh Old Town Road. No! <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! Jukebox <laughs> Jukebox hero. Shout out to Foreigner. Shout out to Foreigner. <laughs> Hell yeah. If there's anybody that I want to see again, it's Foreigner. So yeah, shout out to Foreigner. If you're listening, one, let's hang. Two, Give me send two kisses. <laughs> and three, please, please, please come to my house and sing for me. At the house? At the house. I want a private show. Honestly, you know. We just want to go to the concert when social distancing ends. When social distancing ends. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for sticking around. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit that like button for me so that I know what you guys wanna see next. Go ahead and comment down below. I am totally interested because I wanna try something new. Let me know. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here and I'll see you next time. Bye. But Liz, that looks so hard. I cannot do it. Like, oh my God, you totally can.